then I can take this term to the, to the left hand side. You have C as a common term. This part would have xi dxi by dt. This is this term. I bring this term to the left hand side, take C out. All right. The rest would be the same. Then we have Ri here. This is Ri. And then this term from the left, move that to the right. This equation, what you, what you get here, would be kind of very important equation that we will use later. I'm going to draw a box around this equation. From that equation, if I write it down for species A, I can get C dxA by dt plus This is the first term, right, on the left-hand side. On the right, if your system is binary, for binary system, if it is binary, therefore, JA star should equal to minus del oops cdab del xa we can use fixed law for binary system write down j star and plug it back to that equation in that equation you have del dot j star so you're going to dot them with another del as a result, you should get C, D, A, B, which are considered to be constant. And then del dot del, you get del square x a. All right? You can do this from here to here under assumption that you have constant total concentration and constant diffusivity. How, how can we assume it? In which condition that total concentration will be constant? We have seen it before. When total concentration is constant, just like in our first two examples, whenever you have gas phase, with constant pressure and constant temperature, no matter how many species you have, as long as temperature and pressure are constant, then total concentration will be constant according to ideal gas law, right? So in this case, C constant is normally applied for gas phase at constant pressure and temperature. All right? Then, you can write it down here. Minus sign up front of these two part will be canceled. You have C, D, A, B, 
Laplacian of x a plus r a minus x a summation of r i. In this case, since we have only two species, there will be r a plus r b. Okay, so from here you have R A. Someone's killing each other. I'm going to combine these two terms. You have one minus X A R A. Which is equal to X B R A. Right? For binary system, 1 minus xa is xb. So you can write down this equation to be cdab del square xa plus xbra and xarb. Remember, this equation can be applied for the system where total concentration and diffusivity are constant. Otherwise, you need to go back to this equation. All right. Also, if your system is binary system, no reaction, just mass, pure mass transport without kinetics. Okay? And if V star is equal to 0, V star is equal to 0, that means there is no convection in the system. Can you imagine the system where V star is 0? what kind of system should give you V star equal to zero? Does it mean the fluid is stationary? Even though you have stationary fluid, you may still have V star equal to zero. If, I mean, let's say that even though you not force fluid to move, you still may have a chance for V star to be not zero. Okay? But if the net movement of the fluid is zero, then everything will be absolutely stationary. For example, if I have a system, firstly partition into two parts. This part I have a, this part I have B. Okay? Then, if I take the partition out, A is highly concentrated here. There is no A down there. There will be diffusion of A from the left to the right. B as well would move on the, from the right to the left. In this case, one mole of A move from left to right. Suppose, I mean, in the opposite direction as one mole of B moving against it. This kind of thing is called equimolar, right? One mole of A moving, one mole of A also moving. This is called equimolar counter diffusion. For this special case, the fluid itself does not move there is no net movement of the molecules. In this case, V star is zero. Okay? If V star is zero, you can reduce that equation, just eliminate V star. Then you have C dxA 
which can be converted into dCa by dT equal to this term. I can bring C inside because C is constant. You have dAB del square CA. The rest is zero because in this system there is no reaction. Okay? This equation has a name as well. It is called fixed second law. Sometimes it is called diffusion equation. Same thing, you can write down these two equations for mass basis as well. If you convert the first, e first side of the, of the board into mass basis, you will have this equation. Alright, so just conversion from mass base, molar basis to mass basis, you get all this equation. Any question? Understand some of you will go to visit the plant, right? All right. Any question here? We still have some time left for, we have two more weeks, right? Two more weeks. Okay, we have more time than what we need. So I think. If you do not have any question, I'm going to stop today. Let you prepare yourself for a visit. Okay, so I'm going to leave my handout here. In case that you're interested, you can make a copy. Do not forget to submit the homework. Anybody here has a problem regarding homework, please contact a TA. All right, so if there's no question,